so what's bugging me? Uh, my pond is leaking. Oh, God. <laughs> I have a leak in my pond. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. So what, what are you going to do about it? Okay. So here's the series of things. If you own a pond and you, you probably have had a, a water leaking or disappearing, here's what you need to do. First, is it the liner or is it the plumbing? Hmm. Turn off your pump. Turn off, turn off, turn off your aerator. Your fish will be all right. Fill up the pond to the full level and let it sit for a day or so and see if the water level goes down. Hey, if the water level goes down, then there's a hole in your liner and there's liner patches that you can use and follow the water line looking for a hole and make sure that you've got your glasses on. Because it could be small, small. But if you're, if it didn't go down, or, or, and you've got another issue, more than likely it's going to be in your plumbing. So that means a fitting, a place where it it screws into a filter or your spillway. So turn, turn on your system, okay, and see if it goes down. And you got to search your connections to look for a leak. What happens if they're they're all tight? Everything is good. You know, my UV's tight as a drum. Nothing wet there. There's no. Uh, I've got a couple of different fittings. I've got a couple of valves. Everything looks good. Then you've got to go and decide. Okay. Oh, is water getting under your liner? Could be. Could be. Depending on how the pond was built, um, there could be a spot where you overlaid a piece of liner for a waterfall and that water from the waterfall is tracing through the waterfall and getting under the liner. Make sure you look for that and make sure it's not getting under a seam. And then you got to also you know, double check your, your plate connections where your skimmer is connected or your spillway is connected to the liner because, hey, these things get old and they, they pull through. And what happens is that creates a gap and you can have a problem there. So, I mean, that's, that's something a lot of times where you'll need to reset that. Um, I'll tell you, uh, landscape foam, you know, landscape uh, pond foam is important. You know, re-siliconing that base plate that connects the skimmer or the um, or your spillway to make the waterfall you know those those a lot of times are the hidden problems are the hidden problems um, but most of the time most of the time there's a hole that like a rock slid in or something else happened or you have a dog <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I have a dog I had a dog Ooh, anyway yeah, yeah. I, I, had a, I had a big happy lab that he would loved the water. go in the pond. Yeah. Oh, it just drive me crazy because <laughs> he would stink when he got out. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. maybe like his paw oh, went into it. So yeah. <laughs> take a look. If you've got questions, you need help with trying to, with anything pond related, please give us a call on the hotline. That hotline number is 609-685-1880. 